Big Big J broadcasting live from uh, Rock on the Range, day number one out here in Columbus, Ohio, hanging out with the guys in Mindset Evolution. Good to see you again. Haven't seen you since Uproar last year. That was, that, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, it was a good time, man. We uh, we had you out there for uh, for X Fest, and things are things are going well. I imagine you get ready. The new uh, we saw the new single just came out, right? Absolutely, it uh, hits iTunes uh, the twenty first of May. That's Tuesday. Uh, it's called Burn It Down, and it's it's doing well. It, it's got added to a few stations. They just started spinning it on Octane, and it. I love it. It's one or it's one or cage match a couple nights, uh, really? a couple days, yeah. And, yeah. And I really like it because it, it's definite evolution from your last guys guys' last work, you know. And I mean that that's the progression that you get when you when you're out there and you're doing stuff and you're on tour and you know how was it putting together the new album from from having to go on and experience all that on tour with Uproar? It was it was kind of a frenzy. We uh, while we were out on Uproar, we we signed with Prospect Park, and uh, that's got to be pretty exciting. That's ridiculously right? exciting. Because you're we're, hanging out in Five Finger Death Punch We're right label now. mates with Corn and Five Finger Death Punch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't get much better. Um, it, but once we got back from Uproar, it, we had uh, about six weeks to, to write, and then we were in the studio. Yeah, because, I mean, you guys you guys won a competition, right, to get onto Uproar. The Rockstar Energy Drink Uproar Battle of the Bands. I have that one practiced. <laughs> yeah, you did. And so, uh, Sponsors are in. Yes. And, and, and so, I mean, just that whole thing, it must have been a whirlwind for you, for you guys. It, just that whole thing. I, I've been saying for a while, my life for the last year has been one great big series of pinch me moments. Uh, it's it, it really has all been surreal. I, I woke up and one day Joey and I are hanging out at the Mayhem announcement party. How did I get to the whiskey a go go, and what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But tell tell us a little bit about the story because you know we've heard about how you guys won the contest to get on. What did it take to actually get break through and get on the tour on a nationwide level? Was it just a total amount of votes that that went into it? Is that how it worked? The way the way it worked from the start was the um, they they picked the top I think hundred bands from each market, and then a panel of judges went through and listened to all those bands and. Like where you were placed on that on, on that scale was on uh, votes and listens and and all stuff online. But then from there it, it became organic and, and it was on a panel of judges. Jay Baumgartner, um, I think uh, uh, Zachy Vengeance was on it and, and a few other industry professionals. And they they chose the winner for each market and then they went and played the 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 show wherever in in Boise or in Chicago or, or in st louis wherever and they took video footage there and then the same judges that chose from the top 100 the individual winners picked a single winner from the 26 different shows man and yeah it was an involved process yeah and no kidding so that, that must mean all the more that you got through right it worked yeah. it worked it did it pl the pan the plan play paid off do not shy away from battle of the bands because they work i mean it really does and but you guys got to go out there and you got to perform you got to you know you get that that one chance, and then you got to kick in, kick in the door. You only get one shot. <laughs> <laughs> You're a soundbite. I love man. it. I love you it. You know what's crazy is that, like, during this whole interview, I've been sitting here trying to listen to you guys. Right. Uh, I can't, can't hear, hear a damn thing. thing. Yeah. Need, I don't know what any of you are talking about. We do. But we need more headphones. Dude, I'm so happy to be here. Thanks. <laughs> but, um, you, you were making okay, obscene bye. gestures. You were making obscene gestures as well. Yeah. I saw we still it. can't hear you. So we still can't hear you, dude. But <laughs> I'm just making kidding. obscene gestures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at that. Yeah. For sure. And then, you know, of course, you're here at Rock on the Range, which, which is another one of those things that yeah, I'm sure is on the to-do list when you're in a rock band. And how do, how does it what does it mean for you guys to be here and, and rocking out with some of these bands that are on the bill? What does it mean to us? Yeah, I mean, how, is it cool to be out uh, here rocking the first range? First of all, it, it is surreal. Uh, we are soaking up every single moment, you know that that we get to go out. We we get to go out and do this. I mean, bands like dream of doing this, and we're very blessed and very honored to be out here. And even uproar last year was a huge blessing and a huge success. And when we pulled up today, it felt like. We were. It felt like home. Yeah, yeah, for real. So, rock on the range. Uh, we're honored to be here, you know, and and thank you, thank you. It's, it's it's a huge blessing, and we cannot wait to take the stage and tear it up. We've been practicing our asses off, and uh, you know, we just want to come out and make a memorable, memorable performance. Our single's gonna come out uh, May 21st. It's burn it down. If it's not playing on your radio station yet, if it, you if you it's can what a couple this. cage matches. All right. Yeah, see, we don't mess All around. Right. We're on top Tearing of our game. Tearing it up.
I like it. But, I like uh, it. The album is coming out sometime in the summer. I want to say June or July. I don't really Brave want to put a date on it yet. But um, <laughs> yeah, dude, we're just we're very thankful for the, all the support. And Boise, Idaho, thank you, everybody. And uh, yeah, thank you guys, man. This is just an honor and a privilege. And uh, once again, I, I didn't hear any of your questions. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell's going on, that, but that's, <laughs> the best interview that's rock and roll. <laughs> that is rock and You're roll. You're learning. Uh, <laughs> so on the real, thank you both, and thank you everybody in Boise, and um, and everybody who can hear this. Thanks. No, no problem. Yeah, you, listen, you guys made some fans when you came out in Upper played X Fest last year. You know, it was one of those things where you were you were a local band that had won a competition at that point, mm -hmm. and it was the first time a lot of people heard from you. But it, it, it kind of broke through, and you were able to get some fans, and that's what's made this cage match thing kind of organic. You know, people now recognize who you guys it's are, and that's what it's about. Organic. Yeah, yeah. We can't wait to come back. It's gonna be great, man. We're looking forward to it, and uh, check out the uh, the album when it comes out this summer. Of course, you can hear Burn It Down on the X. And guys, thanks for popping by, man. We appreciate it. Thank you guys yeah, for yeah, having no us. Thank you so much, Nick and Big J. Here May 21st, on the iTunes. There you go. Joey tells you, go pick up the <laughs> go pick up the CD and single. Make it happen, man. See you next rock. <laughs>